She was a bridesmaid at the Queen's wedding and she was at the oh, coronation amazing. of the Queen and she was at the coronation of George VI, the Queen's father. We rather thought she'd be at the coronation of, yeah. of Charles III. Well, apparently today it's been revealed that she's not on the guest list of the King's coronation because it was based on meritocracy, not aristocracy. So we're going to talk now to Hugo Vickers, who's a royal expert, a bit of a royal legend, actually. Uh, Hugo, um, I was pretty amazed that she's not invited because her father, of course, was Lord Mountbatten. Uh, Broadlands, the family home, was where the Duke, where the Queen and Prince Philip began their honeymoon. And, of course, Mountbatten was a great confidant of Prince Charles. Yes. Well, uh, two things. One of which, by the way, she was not at the coronation of 1937. She oh. was too young, but her Patricia was. But that's, uh, okay. that's not your mistake. That's her daughter's mistake, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, second, this is a state occasion and not a family occasion, and a great number of members of the royal family that you would expect to be there won't be there. And, and of course, equally, um, a great number of the aristocracy won't be there. But I think you've hit on one point. If Lord Mountbatten had still been alive, she certainly would be there because he'd make sure she was. Um, but, you know, given that you can only have 2,000 people in the Abbey instead of 8,000, they've got to look to the people who are part of the legislation, a representative of this country as it is in 2023. And I'm afraid the aristocracy are the ones who've gone out of the window. How do you think she's reacted? Because her daughter said mum's taking it in her stride, but her daughter would say that. Do you think she's dis I think she must be disappointed, Hugo. Uh, I'm not sure she's disappointed at all. She's 94 years old. It's a very long service. She would have to be there at the absolute latest by 10 o'clock. She wouldn't get out again until way after 1 o'clock and think she's going to be worried about not being there. She can watch it all on the television. Um, and, of course, that's the real point, Andrew, that television cameras will cover this coronation absolutely splendidly and it can be beamed all over the world and billions of people can take part. So forget those disappointed 6,000 people. I keep meeting disgruntled hereditary peers, as you can imagine, yeah. and others who are not, who are not going to be to think they have an inalienable, right, an inalienable right to be there. They, unfortunately, they don't. It's going to be different. It's going to be pared down a little, isn't it, Hugo? We were told as well, just because of the, the times that we're living in with the cost of living crisis that we're, we're all experiencing. Do you think it will still have the uh, magnificence that we would expect from such an occasion? I certainly hope so. I think the king actually got it on because he originally put out a statement saying he wanted to be more modest. And I'm told... I mean, he's absolutely delighted that a number of people, myself included, have said, well, you may want to be modest. We all want to be magnificent. I mean, we do these things extremely well in this country. I mean, look how the world watched in fascination the lying in state, the state funeral and committal of the Queen. I think they were really interested in the ceremonial aspects and what they meant. And probably for the, it was the first time that many people would have been confronted with that. And the coronation is a, is a fantastic opportunity for all that and more. So let's hope it is magnificent. I sincerely hope so. I should be very disappointed if it isn't. Where will you be, Hugo? I will be outside Westminster Abbey with a certain uh, media company and doing my best to um, identify the people coming in, which is about the only thing I can do. <laughs> uh, 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 I, I obviously would have spotted Lady Pamela if she'd been there. I shall certainly cool. spot some other interesting figures, I suspect. I'll tell you one interesting figure who'll be there will be a young boy who was a, I mean, he's a grown up man in his 80s now, who is a page. Um, at the coronation, he was a page to the Lord Chancellor who didn't know any young men, asked the Duke of Norfolk, could he provide a boy? And the Duke of Norfolk provided a young boy called Andrew Parker Bowles. And he ah. will be there, of course, because <laughs> he's got three grandchildren carrying uh, um, his wife's, his ex-wife's train. So that's rather an interesting connection. That's an Fascinating. Question, Hugo Vickers, he knows it all, you know.